welcome back to my channel and if you're here for the first time welcome so nice to have you here it's been a hot minute since i've uploaded on here but there's just been so much going on all really good things but just been keeping me busy i won't bore you with that because i wanted to jump right into this video i'm super excited today i will be doing a review of shein everything came in this box right here which is fine i just kind of felt like you know maybe it's recycled that's good they're doing something for the environment it's not the most aesthetically pleasing bag or box but hey it's fine it works everything got here so that's all we care about if you're familiar with Shein, it's one of those stores where I think they have a lot of different suppliers. So you never really know if what is being pictured is what you're going to get. Also, I don't believe that they take their own images because it's not very consistent. And if you see other other brands, you notice that they have a very consistent way that they do things to kind of build that brand. Whereas she and I feel like it's they have a massive amount of distributors. And so I don't know if they're just pulling the images from those distributors websites or if they're finding a similar product online and using it. You know, so it's very hard to tell if what you're seeing displayed is really what you're going to get. And so I tried to just find products that had reviews with pictures and a lot of times i would see that the style was the same but the quality of the material you can tell was not that great and i did take a couple risks on items that didn't have reviews because i figured hey you know might as well go for it i am doing this review so might as well just kind of be be the first one to test it out the other thing that struck me as odd or inconsistent was the sizing. People are able to leave feedback on the sizing. Is it true to size? Is it too small? Is it too large? And it, it's just hard to say because it was always very skewed. So for me, that wasn't very helpful unless it was totally one-sided and everybody said it's too large or too small. But a lot of times it was a very even mix of too small or too large or true to size, something like that. So wasn't super helpful for me but anyway just wanted to give you some background on the website now let's jump in to the items i'm gonna start with the accessories then i'll move on to the shoes and then i will show you guys lastly the clothing items that i bought i bought i don't know maybe five pairs of earrings which i'm super excited to show you the first ones that i got are the, the studded little star earrings here great quality actually i was surprised and as you can see the gold is not that like super cheap fake gold and the stones are not so shiny where they're that fake fake looking you know what i mean like yeah i get it they're gonna they're fake obviously people know that but i don't want them to look fake. the next pair that i got are these dangly earrings are so cute i really like this like marbly opalescence shell style i think they're adorable they're great for summer i feel like because they're like a clear white translucent shiny color i can wear them with so many things then i also got another pair of dangly earrings but these are gold you can see those at the camera focus and i love these because i feel like they're a little bit more dressy they're not that like coppery yellow gold they're a nice gold so they don't look cheap so i've been seeing these earrings everywhere and i gave in and bought myself a pair and it's these rectangle it's not a rectangle that's not the shape but you know it's just been so long since i took oh my god geometry where do you learn shapes i don't even know you guys <gasps> anyway let's just let's just call them a rectangle or a wrong i don't know anyways um so these are like in a rose gold and oh my gosh <laughs> so the last pair that i got now you're gonna be like why the heck did you buy these i'm even thinking like why the heck did you buy 
buy these but i think when i was purchasing them i was like oh i'm gonna be on an island pretty soon so i want to have something more islandy to wear so i bought these you guys am i nuts or what okay well i know at first glance it's like what the heck were you thinking? But I promise I was thinking and I know I'm gonna make these work. I just feel like with the right hairstyle, the right makeup, the right outfit, you can make anything look expensive. It's not always about how much you spend, but it's about how you style things, how you put things together and you can make something that's very inexpensive look expensive. Anyway, let's move on to the shoe. Not gonna lie, I did wear some already, which was actually a good thing because now I can give you some feedback after wearing them. And I'm gonna start with these flats that I absolutely loved. And then I was a little bit disappointed. So these are the flats. They have this super cute like chain detailing. It's a nice little fluffy bow. Material is actually pretty nice, very stiff and sturdy. It looks just like the picture. I got these in a size seven and they fit perfectly. So the sizing was not off on these, but I will tell you, I wore them once and they started to fall apart. Okay, that might be a little bit dramatic. It's not like the soles are coming off and whatnot. But if you see here, this one has like just this little piece of material around the bow to kind of conceal any of the stitching that went on. Well, after one wear, that is no longer there on this one. Now, mind you, I wasn't doing anything ridiculous with these. I literally just wore them to I don't know, run an errand. And I noticed that it like had fallen off. And so I was able to catch it. I didn't lose it. So I can just stitch it back on here. But you know, it's like those little things. Like I don't have time. Nobody has time to be stitching crap back onto their shoe. But nonetheless, I've worn them twice now or maybe three times and I've gotten so many compliments on them. They're such cute shoes now let me show you guys the sandals that i bought still have some of the wrapping on them but they're just plain classic white sandals so i bought these again in a size seven and the the fit is actually great like the the sizing surprisingly hasn't been off on a lot of these shoes which is fantastic but i will say for these they're not that wide and I don't feel like I have a wide foot. So I was surprised that like my pinky is like barely hanging on for dear life. Oh my God, help me. But they're super cute and the material is actually really nice. It's not like leather or anything amazing, but it's, it's not super thin either. Now, the next pair of shoes I got, I actually really, really liked. They are these black espadrilles. And I, you know, I've never been an espadrille person, but for when I went to Belize, I bought a pair that I can just wear the whole time I was there. And they were so comfortable. I love them. They were from Sam Edelman. And so I thought I'd buy, and those were like a taupey nude color. So I wanted to buy them in a black so that I have two different options. Obviously these are not Sam Edelman, but they are from Soda, which I was like, Soda? I remember that brand when I was like in sixth grade. Oh my God, they're still around doing things. Okay, well, anyway. I don't like that this is like a stretchy, like stretchy band material. I feel like it gives it a cheap look, but everything else is, is great. I love this detailing here. It's like basket weave or whatever. I went a half size up on these. I got seven and a half because I was reading in the comments and people were saying that a half size up should be fine. And thank goodness because they fit just right. But oh my God, you guys, I wore these. They are so slippery. I was like walking, you know, when you know you might fall. So you do that little Bambi walk or whatever it's called. Yeah, that was me today. Anyway, let's move on because I'm actually super excited for these. I don't know if they're going to fit. They look a little bit small. I could go a half size up. I'm just trying them on. Oh yeah, no, these are gonna be a return. I just realized, okay, two things. 
They're definitely going back. The shoelace is dirty. If you can see. I don't know what the heck that is. And I just realized they say this on the side. Super in. No, my friends, that's super out. It looks like the shoe's been like worn. It's like super crease on the inside. Super gone, how about that? And the other thing I noticed about the website, now that I'm thinking about it, is that nothing has tags on them. So someone can literally just wear the stuff and then send it back. And then you buy it and you get somebody's old thing. And how do they know if nothing comes with tags? So that was a little bit alarming. Like, come on, you guys, you want to save two cents on tags? All right, so those are a fail and they're going back. And then the last pair of shoes that I bought. They stink. Like gas or something? Ugh, what is that smell? But they are adorable. Oh my goodness. I love that buckle detailing. So cute. That tortoise shell style, whatnot. Let's move on to the purses. The first one I'll show you guys is this super cute bag. It's like pretty stiff here. It's like a little container and it has this beautiful floral detailing on it. I guess it's just one and it just moves back and forth. But it's great. The space on the inside is perfect. The gold color is not that cheap gold. And the buckles are like little hearts. So I really appreciate all the crafting that's gone into this. The other one that I got that is a little like posh and oh, don't talk to me is this cute little like wannabe Chanel bag. Not that Chanel purses look like this, I don't think, but like all the suits and the Chanel suits and whatnot. It's all this like tweed material and it even has this faux fur trim around. Oh, come on, get real people. The inside is decent, not a lot of space, but again, these bags I got, I feel like are more for like, you don't take your whole damn life with you when you wear these bags. It's just very, <sighs> but it's very like bendy. Like you see that I can totally like bend it. So it's not like super stiff. It's not like amazing quality, but again, I mean, I didn't expect it to be this grandiose thing. I just really like the style. Oh my God. Can you guys see me? <sighs> this clear bag, because why not? Damn it. I like it. You can wear them with anything. And the last purse that I bought that I was super excited about and then ended up being like, meh. meh. Ooh, a marble bag. And it's like a vinyl, which, I can make this myself, guys. And I was expecting this to be like a marble, like at least like a plastic or something. So it looks more real, but it's like vinyl. So I don't think I'm going to keep this. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh, that smells horrible. Oh, geez. Anyways, guys, let's move on to the clothes. I bought a couple of items. I'm super excited to try them on and show you guys. All right, guys, as you can see, we have migrated location. Also, if I look a little bit different, it's because my camera died when I was recording the first part and I didn't have time to record the second part until today. But nonetheless, it's still the same old me. So let's jump into the clothes, starting with this dress here. I am obsessed with anything floral and polka dot that just mix. I don't know why. I think it's just so girly and so feminine. It's two of my favorite things. And I'm also obsessed with ruffles. So I love the frill hems here. I love the bell sleeves. I love the ruffle collar. Anything ruffle was made for me. It also comes with this waist tie, which I'm glad because underneath it has a little bit of a elastic, which is nice for the fit, but by itself, it kind of look a little bit cheap. So I'm glad that they gave us some fabric here to cover that up. Now, the style is great. The silhouette is great. The fit is nice. This is a small, but I will say that the material is very, it's just 
cheap. It's made of polyester, which is probably one of the cheaper, if not maybe the cheapest material you can find. So it's not uncommon for clothes to be made from polyester. Even high-end designers, some of their stuff is made from polyester, which is basically plastic that can literally be turned into anything. So you have polyester chiffon, polyester silk, whatever. Polyester, uh, it can also make you very hot and it like retains the sweat. So if you're somebody who gets really hot and just tends to sweat, then try to stay away from polyester. You're welcome, my sweaty friends. All the pieces came in this nice little zip bag here, which I like, although I feel like it's kind of an excessive use of plastic. The next thing that I got was this polka dot dress. Oh, it's nice. I like that they don't come like sewn because then you can adjust it to your whatever length you need. Some of them will come, like if it's supposed to be that bow style, they will come pre-stitched and you can't adjust it. Now, again, it's frill hem, but I do want to point out again that there is no tag. I have not worn this. I just opened this for the first time. There is no tag. So like I said, somebody could have worn this and returned it. And now you get to be the proud owner of a hand-me-down dress. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a try. I'm super excited. Oh my gosh, I actually like this a lot more than I expected. Um, it definitely fits like the glove. Um, I love these sleeves. I definitely think it gives it a nice little feminine touch and it's just the right amount of sexy for me. It's just the perfect length. It goes just below the knees and sometimes I have a little trouble with dresses that are not either mini or maxi because they tend to fit me a little bit odd since I'm 5'2", but this one actually fits perfectly. All right, friends, let's see what's next. This is one of the ones I took a risk on that didn't have any reviews. Now I can feel the material a little bit cheap. And here I go again with my ruffled hem. Let's go ahead and try this one on. Ooh, I actually really like this. Again, this is one of those dresses that fits a little bit in between. It's not totally at the ankle, so it's not maxi. It's not just below the knee, but it, I guess it makes for a fine midi dress doesn't it's not too long i love that it has the ruffles kind of across the neckline here i don't like that it goes underneath the armpit just because you can feel it a little bit so it feels a little bit uncomfortable this one again is a small i think it's fine it does feel a little bit big like if i were to let the waist tie down but it is meant to be more of a relaxed fit i believe so it's not supposed to be skin tight like the polka dot dress. So I would say get your normal size, don't size down. Oh my God, I'm already in love. I love the colors. I love the print. I don't have very many things in like a baby blue, but I absolutely love baby blue and white. Those are two of my favorite colors. I feel like they make everything look a lot more elegant and chic. If you ever can't decide and you want a color that generally looks good on everybody. I mean, white and then baby blue, I feel like it's another one of those colors. This, I will say, is pretty soft, so it doesn't feel as cheap. But it does come lined, as you can see. Wow, you guys, I'm actually pretty obsessed. I love this. Again, I feel like the color is flattering on any skin tone. I feel like it's very, it looks very classy and chic. I got this one in a medium because she has a size recommender and you put in your measurement and it recommended a medium for me. However, I feel like I could have gone with a small and been fine. It has this like string here and I thought, oh great, you know, I'll be able to tighten it, tighten, I'll be able to tighten it up and that will take care of the waist situation. I can just keep the medium, no big deal. But it's just decoration. So it's literally two strings just stitched here that do 
absolutely nothing. I really wish it was actually functional and would just tighten the dress a little bit because it would just be a little bit more comfortable. Right now it feels loose, but it doesn't look bad. I love the ruffles. I love the ruffle neck. This is a yes for me. Probably my favorite one so far. Um, I don't know why I'm a little bit underwhelmed by this. It's cute, but it's not like, wow. You know what I mean? I've seen other skirts that are like, wow. And I think online it looks like, wow. But for some reason in person to me, on me maybe, it just doesn't stand out very much. I like the length though. It's not too long. I like that it's actually pretty comfortable, even though the material is not like the best. I love the print and the color, but for some reason, I just feel like it doesn't stand out. It could be the shirt, so I definitely want to go back and try it with a different shirt. Now, this skirt I was super excited about. <gasps> Ew, the material is not good. It just feels so cheap and stiff. But I love the print. I love that it's pleated. I hope it looks, looks better than it feels. But I'm not pleased with the material at all and it just feels very cheaply made like none of the other items really felt this cheap it doesn't even have the Shein logo oh it actually doesn't look half bad on i feel like it's kind of cute i got it in a medium it's a little bit loose but i think the small would have been too tight it doesn't look as cheap as it feels so if you're wearing this just don't let nobody touch you and you should be good if you have friends like me who when they laugh they slap your knee just sit far away from those friends and you'll be fine nobody will know this is actually pretty cheap i don't know it feels like if i rub it hard enough it's gonna catch on fire overall my thoughts are that the sizing again it's not super consistent but I had some things that were somewhat consistent in sizing. I'm a small, most of the things I bought were in a small. As I imagine, material is pretty cheap. All the clothing is in polyester and some of the stuff smelled god awful. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button so that you never miss another video again. And as always, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.